Hey everybody, it's Mr. Smees, and with this new school year upon us, I'd like to officially welcome a new group of AP Environmental Science Scholars to the channel. My name is Mr. Smees, and I've been teaching apes for eight years, YouTubing for three years, and grading AP exams each May for three years as well. That means I actually sit down at a giant table in a convention center and grade thousands of your FRQs every June. And I'm here today in Detroit, Michigan, outside of Detroit versus Everybody Store, to tell you a little bit about the history of the Apes vs. Everybody channel that I started during the COVID-19 pandemic. See, with schools closed all over the country, students still needed to prep for their exams, so I started making videos on YouTube to help them get ready for those exams that they were going to take at home. Just like the city of Detroit has faced its share of hardships and come together to rally against them over the years, Ape scholars and Ape teachers face all sorts of hardships throughout their school year as well. Whether it's lack of funding to access quality lab materials or exam prep study guides, or just the difficulty of keeping up with college level coursework while you're still in high school, I created this channel to provide videos, slides, study guides, comment section to cry in, basically everything you need to understand the material you're covering in class and be ready for that exam in May. But I wanna do more than just provide you with resources. My mission is to channel the energy and the hustle of the city of Detroit in order to create a true community here. A community where we're all in this together, us versus the exam. But more importantly, us versus the global challenges we'll face in upcoming generations like climate change and ocean acidification. And the way that we work together towards this ambitious goal is by learning to do something called thinking like a mountain. See, this is an idea first put forward by Aldo Leopold, the famous conservationist, and it basically means that we need to do a lot better job of thinking about the consequences of our actions here and now happening in other places long into the future. It's not something that we humans always excel at, but it is something that you'll have to learn how to do if you want to get a five on that exam in May and maybe contribute to this planet being a little bit more habitable and a little bit more equitable place for future generations. As always, think like a mountain and write like a scholar. Well, as the Blazers refer to it, Westbrook outside trying to counter with a three, and that's a deck, especially when your team is playing pretty good team defense. This is the final 47 last year. What happened there?